good everyone you're welcome back to my channel today we have the following problem the integral as s is going from 0 to 1 the square root of a negative natural logarithm of x times the square root of x dx okay now today is the third class of this calculus class that is the gamma function okay now how do we start how do we start okay now before we start let us still take a note of this as we have been doing since that the gamma of n okay is equal to integral as x is going from 0 to infinity e raised to power negative x times x raised to power n minus 1 okay dx and again we need to know as we solve in the previous video that the gamma of 3 all over 2 is equal to what the square root of pi all over 2 okay now let's get started okay we're going to take a substitution by saying let the negative natural logarithm of x to be y okay so the negative natural logarithm of x to be y now we all know that Net, the natural logarithm of x is equal to negative y okay now x is equal to a raised to negative y now differentiate both sides so the x is equal to negative a raised to negative y dy okay now how do we know our new limit okay you, we all know that in terms of the upper boundary we are going to plug the value of x here to be y, to be 1 then we evaluate y is equal to the negative natural logarithm of 1 so now let's see what we're going to do here okay now this is our integral so we have integral okay now what is going to be our lower boundary here before we find this lower boundary we need to solve for y when x is equal to zero here so that is limit of natural logarithm of x that is in negative form as x is approaching zero okay we we all know that we all know that the the natural logarithm of x as s is approaching zero that is the natural logarithm of x here yeah, that is limit as x is approaching zero is equal is approaching negative infinity okay and here this natural logarithm is in negative form so we are we we have negative times negative here so that is positive so we have the lower boundary to be positive infinity okay now limits of natural logarithm of s as x is approaching one in terms of this upper boundary here so as s is approaching 1 is approaching what 0 okay and we have it in negative form here so negative 0 we don't have anything like negative 0 or positive okay so we have negative 1 times 0 so that is what 0 so now we have what the square root of what is the value of negative natural logarithm of x so as we have it here so that is y so we have y okay times what should be the square root of x we have solved for x here and we got a to the power of negative y so the square root of x is going to be what the square root of a to the power of negative y okay now times what is our dx our dx here is what here the negative a raised to negative y dy okay so times negative a raised to negative y dy okay now we have the following theorem that integral from b to a of this function of x dx okay is equal to the negative so because of the negative sign so the limits we switch so we have a to b of this function then dx okay now we are having because of this negative value here so this limit is going to switch to from 0 
to infinity okay now e square root of e raised to a negative y so this can be written as let us first write this so we have square root of y times e raised to a negative y all over 2 okay that is this then times e raised to a negative y okay dy now we, with this indices law with this indices law a raised to a b times a raised to a c is equal to a raised to a b plus c okay now here we have negative y all over 2 plus negative y so this we here the new power here is going to give us what negative 3y all over 2 okay now what do we have so we have this integral as s going from 0 to infinity okay now we have y raised to 1 all over 2 so that is the square root of y then times e raised to what negative 3y all over 2 then dy now we're going to make substitution here so we're going to make substitution and what is this substitution we're going to make here so we're going to say let this negative 3y all over 2 to be x okay now we say let let this 3y all over 2 there to be what x now much that is cross multiplying here so we have 3y is equal to 2x okay y is equal to 2x all over 3 differentiate both sides so we have the y is equal to 2 dx all over 3 okay now this is becoming integral the limit remains the same as s is going from 0 to infinity okay now what is our y here our y here is 2x all over 3 so we can see it and we have it as the square root of 2x all over 3 okay times e raised to a negative x then times what is our dy our dy is 2dx all over 3 now this 2 all over 3 here we can take it out of this integral sign so now this is becoming what 2 over 3 integral as s goes from 0 to infinity now this we can split this to be square root of 2 all over 3 times square root of x okay now times e raised to a negative x dx okay now we're taking this out so we have 2 square root of 2 all over 3 square root of 3 then integral as s goes from 0 to infinity you know we have x raised to a 1 all over 2 now times e raised to a negative x dx okay now what do we need to do now so we're going to rewrite this one all over two here we're going to rewrite it as what three over two minus one so now we have two square root of two all over three root three integral from zero to infinity so x is what 3 over 2 minus 1 times e raised to a negative x dx so we are very familiar with this that this is the gamma of this 3 all over 2 here so we have what 2 sort 2 over 3 sort 3 okay times the gamma of 3 all over 2 as stated above the gamma of 3 all over 2 is equal to square root of pi over 2 so we have 2 sort 2 over 3 root 3 okay now times square root of pi all over 2 now we're going to do cancellation from here so from this place we're going to do cancellation so these two cancel out these two here okay so we have what square root of 2 times square root of pi okay all over 3 so 3 and the uh, simplifying that so we are having what square root of 2 times square root of pi can be written as square root of 2 pi all over 3 sod 3 and this is the right answer to the question thank you for viewing and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel for more interesting videos